The protracted security challenges bedeviling Zamfara State have obviously made especially women and girls more vulnerable to the gender-based violence as thousands of them have been internally displaced by the terrorists. This forms part of the major issues raised by stakeholders who participated in this year's 16 days of activism against gender-based violence in Zamfara State. Wife of Zamfara State Governor Horia Doda Lol led other women, human rights organizations and development partners to the campaign rally within Gusau Metropolis. <laughs> An interactive session was also held where stakeholders, including Governor Doda Lawal, leadership of the State Council of Chiefs and Development Partners, deliberated on the way forward. Sexual assault and gender-based violence is with us. It's part of us. We need to end the, the culture of silence. We should build a society that women can be decent and they can be supported by institution so that they can unleash their full potential. We are therefore coming up with programs aimed at solving this huge inequality by investing in prevention through public enlightenment and creation of spaces for greater access to education as well as economic development. Wife of Zamfara State Governor Huria Lowell said the event is aimed at amplifying the voices of survivors of the gender based violence, especially women and children in the state, and the need to join hands in reducing and preventing the negative trend. We must work tirelessly to eradicate the shadows of gender based violence. We need proactive measures education that nurtures respect, laws that protect, and the system that supports victims. Meanwhile, Office of the Zamfara State Governor's Wife has lined up some other programs in line with this year's theme of the campaign, accelerating actions to end gender-based violence and femicide, leaving no one behind. In Gusau, Jamilu Ibrahim, NTA News.